Tell me about your experience with these non-fungible tokens. And can you explain what they are to my mum? I can, <laughs> yeah. So I'll explain that first. <laughs> All you need to really know is that it's a digital certificate that proves you own something. Okay. So in our case here, because we're in the art industry, it proves our entities will prove that you own a piece of art. Uh, now, the confusion kind of tends to come in where someone like yourself or anyone of the general public would be like, can't I just save that on my phone? I'd mm. send it to someone else. Mm. Why has this got mm. value? Download it, rip it, exactly. right, as we say. Exactly. The reason why is because those are just copies. They don't have that certificate. They don't own it. Right, so okay. That's where the value comes in, really. That, that's it. But say it's a YouTube clip, Josh. <laughs> anyone can see the clip online, even yes. if you own the NFT. So correct. why own the NFT? Uh, well, you think, think of it like this. Um, let's say Banksy was to do a, a video creative. Yeah, the sort of viral guerrilla artist. Exactly. Yeah. Now, there would be value in somebody owning the original of that. Would yeah. you agree? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's where NFTs come in, into it. So, yes, you could upload it onto YouTube, for example. Yeah. Everyone can see it. Yeah. Nobody could own it. Yeah. And just because they've seen it, they can't make money from it. But the person who's purchased it, yeah. they can. Because of the it.